I think we can all agree that a new Dark Adventurer set is pretty expensive, from the weapons, equipment, Empire outfits, and of course the new ship set. Fuck me! That being said, it's one of the sexiest looking set of cosmetics that Sea of Thieves has released, so in my opinion, it's 100% worth the grind. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get there in as little time and effort as possible, so strap in and let's get into it. Before we get into the video, I'm currently live on Twitch, so if you like the video, make sure to not only subscribe, but also come into the stream and say hi. Today I'm going to show you how to earn yourself over 300,000 gold per hour in Sea of Thieves, and I will show you how this all works later on in the video. In order to do this strategy most effectively, you're going to want another crewmate on a sloop. However, you can do this solo, it just may take slightly longer depending on how good you are at managing your ship. First things first, you're going to want to start to hop servers. What you're looking for is a Flameheart event. Now, I'm not just saying find any random server with a Flameheart event in. What you're actually looking for is a server where the event is super close to the outpost that you spawn at. You basically want to be able to see the island that Flameheart is floating above, or better yet, the ghost ships themselves. Once you've found your server, all you're going to want to grab from the island is one full inventory of supplies. You do not need to spend any extra time here stocking up your boat as you're going to be getting a lot of supplies from the event itself. After that, find and raise the Reaper's Emissary on your respective outpost. If you don't know where these are located, look for a cage skeleton with a red table below it. Finally, go ahead and raise your anchor and get sail into the event. When you're at the event and somewhat close to the ghost ships, what you're going to want to do is sail with half of your canvas up. This will give you way more control of your boat and the flame heart ships actually travel as the same speed as a sloop at half sail. You're not going to be zooming past the ships, but not moving at a pace where the ships zoom past you. Each ghost ship is going to take you three cannon shots to take down, so plan your steering before finishing each ship off. What I mean by this is if you're stuck between two ghost ships and the one on your right is on its last hit, start turning off to the other ship and then finish it off. This will allow you to have enough time to destroy both ships without having to play cat and mouse. Another tip, if you're the opposite side of the island where the ships are or the ships are behind you, Sail to take shots at the front of the ghost ships as chasing will lose you a hell of a lot of time. Don't be afraid to raise your sails and pull a 1AE to go for ships behind you. Make sure you're looking out for storage crates of the damned in the water when doing the two ad waves. These are going to be very profitable when selling later on. An easy way of finding these is to just keep your eye out for floating ghosts in the water where you've recently sunk ghost ships. Moving on to my final tip, for the boss waves, each ashen ship will take you 10 cannonballs to sink and the burning blade will take you 20. Carry some blunder or fire bombs in your inventory as you can also use these to take down the bosses. The easiest way of defeating these is to sail side on with the front of the ships and turn the boat on a gradual rotation to the right or left. This should give you enough time to hit all of your shots and also miss sailing through the adds. Keep in mind you may have to make two passes on the final boss if you can't get all your shots off. Make sure on the final wave you take out both sub bosses before the main boss to gain yourself the maximum amount of loot. Once you've completed the event you should be grade 5 reapers and ready to head straight to the hideout to sell. If you aren't grade 5 which sometimes can happen Shoot off at islands on your way to sail and pick up treasure to increase your rep. This should take you around 20 to 25 minutes to complete on a duo sloop and to give you an idea on how much you're going to be making each time, we will look at the maximum amount you can sell each item for and how much you're going to get during the event. Throughout the whole event you should receive anywhere between 0 and 8 storage crates of the dam. These sell at a maximum price at Reaper's Grade 5 of 2000 750 coins. During my run in this video we gained a total of around 4 storage crates from ads, netting us a profit of around 11,000 coins. From each Ash and Dragon ship you will also gain yourself around 7 to 9 pieces of loot. One of these pieces is guaranteed which is the storage crate. The other pieces can be any assortment of Chest of the Dams at a maximum value of 2,900 coins, Skulls of the Dams at a maximum value of 3,125 coins and Ashes of the Dams at a maximum value of 3,500 coins. 
In my game, we received two chests, four skulls, two ashes, and one storage crate. This creates a total of 28,050 coins. You will defeat four Ash and Dragon ships during the event, so from these you could gain a maximum value of 112,200 coins. Finally, the Burning Blade. You will receive around 13 to 15 pieces of loot. Two of these will be guaranteed. These are the Cannibal Crate of the Damned at a maximum value of 2,750 coins and a Captain Skull of the Dam at a maximum value of 7,375. Again, the rest of the loot will be an assortment of chests, skulls and ashes. In my game, we receive four chests, four skulls, three ashes, one Captain Skull and one Cannibal Crate. This equals a total of 44,725 coins. The event itself took me and my partner 25 minutes to complete, which gained us around 167,925 gold. The idea would be to repeat this immediately after sold, which would essentially let you make a grand total of 335,850 coins every 50 minutes to an hour. With all of that, you should be well on your way to buying the new Dark Adventurers cosmetics. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe, leave a like, check out my other videos on the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.